I'm no rocket scientist, bro. But I could swear I've seen people doing 14 nines in the Honda at Spa, which I, I don't think I've seen any other car capable of getting even close to that. Um, so why has it not been nerfed at Spa? Yo, what is going on guys? It's Cryptic TMG back with a brand new video and this time we're going to be talking about the BOP changes, the little tweaks that we got for ACC yesterday. Um, didn't get a chance to do a video yesterday so I want to sort of talk about it today and um, man, 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 I just, I just don't get it lads, I just don't get it. I don't really understand if enough was done to balance out the game, especially when there's realistically there's nothing really stopping them from actually putting together a, a decent BOP. But anyway, let's get stuck into the BOP changes and let's see. I'll move my camera to the bottom right. Hopefully it's better for you lot. Um, so looking at the BOP changes, let's scroll down here. These are all the names of the tracks and um, I suppose the, the code or terminology that's used to decipher which track is which. I personally would just prefer them to say which track they've actually changed, which BOP they've changed for what track. I don't really I don't want to have to come on here and look what EUD1 is just to check what the BOP is, okay? I'd rather them just say the name of the track where the BOP has been changed. It would make it so much simpler. But let's scroll down to where it's actually interesting because it is to do with the Honda NSX Evo, which in my opinion needed to be nerfed. But the wording of this is kind of weird. Power nerf minor in brackets from 6,500 to limiter on all tracks all tracks it says but minus eu b1 and b2 eu c c1 and c2 eu d and bgta and gtam b and c so it's not really all tracks then is it it's the well i'd say that's about half maybe <laughs> how many tracks is there on the game so it was the, like 20 tracks or something like that on the game and it's like one two three four five six seven eight so almost half of the tracks it hasn't really been nerfed and if you go ahead and look at the, the codes for um what tracks are which eub1 is paul ricard and eub2 is spa now <laughs> i'm no rocket scientist bro but i could swear i've seen people doing 14 nines in the honda at spa which I, I don't think I've seen any other car capable of getting even close to that. Um, so why has it not been nerfed at Spa? Like if it's a track where the nerf was actually needed, why have they left it? Like, it, like <laughs> genuinely I'm confused. Why, why would you leave it on a track where the car is actually OP? Um, so Paul Ricard, I mean, there, there's a few quick cars around Paul Ricard, so that's not really an issue. Okay, but um, we go and look at uh, EUC, Imola, Silverstone. Um, didn't have a great. I don't think it was that great around Silverstone anyway, so that's not a problem. Imola is still pretty strong. Um, C two is Barcelona. The Honda is definitely fast at Barca for sure. It's definitely pretty quick at Barca, but again, there is other cars that can compete, so that's not really an issue, I guess. I mean, it's 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 less of an issue than Spa, for for instance, which is just a joke, to be honest. Um, EUD Hungaro Ring. From what I can remember, the the Honda was pretty strong at Hungaro Ring, so I'm surprised it didn't get more of a nerf around there. Um, BGTA Alton Park. It honestly, like, no one cares about Alton Park. I'm be real. Like, majority of the time, no one uses it. Okay, it's been used a few times in LFM and. But most of the time, you're not really going to race Alton Park. So the BOP around there is probably not as important as some of the other tracks. And then it doesn't get touched at Watkins Glen and, Ro and Circuit of the Americas. Why? <laughs> like, it's definitely rapid at Watkins. I won't say it's on its own. There is also other cars that are definitely up there but it just seems like a lot of the tracks what well, for me 
the main sticking point, the main thing I'm going to complain about is Spa. Bro, you can't have a car that is that much faster and add a nerf to the game and leave the car that is OP on that track and just completely just leave it. Like, it doesn't make any sense to me personally. All right, so it says it's been nerfed from 6,500. Now, I'm not actually sure what the, the, um, what the Honda revs to. Whether, I think it might have been 7,500. Okay, so um, they've brought the rev range down a little bit. Cool. But, let, let, you know, let's wait and see how it actually affects a lot of the tracks and um, where they're going with this. Because, in my opinion, when if I was to do a BOP, my first thing was, where are these cars exceedingly strong compared to its competitors where they're just too fast, where the advantage is too big? That will be the first places I'll be nerfing. The first places I'll be nerfing. All the other tracks where it's in the mix, I'll just completely leave it. But it, it feels like it's like kind of just random, you know? Um, but the Porsche, moving on to the Porsche, um, again, the Porsche is definitely not my area of expertise. You probably want to go and see what Manos is saying about the matter. But from what I understand is it had a, a um, an aero nerf, which probably makes it a little slower around the course. I'm not sure how big the, the, the difference will be. Um, I think Jada said in the stream yesterday is like two to three temps, which I think is a is a fair nerf to the Porsche because you don't want to make it just, you know, just kill it dead so no one wants to use it. But it also has to be reined in a little bit. Now, my problem is the tracks where, you know, it really was realistically like, like Circuit of the Americas, where it's kind of Honda against Porsche. Now you've nerfed the Porsche. Is it just Honda by itself now? Um, who knows? But we, we shall see. But it needed a slight nerf. And the, the thing is about what I like about the Porsche, right? Even though some say that it's OP, at the very least, at least it's not the easiest car to drive or it's not. It's not a simple car to drive, so to be really fast in the Porsche, you have to be very, very good. And that at least creates a skill gap. So that's why you don't see loads of people just jumping in the Porsche because a lot of people can't drive the Porsche fast. So regardless of how, in, in inverted commas, how uh, OP it was, not everyone can drive it to the maximum. And I don't mind a car like that. But if you've got something that is, you know, once you've got a half decent setup and you can just rag it, and then the car just ends up being rapid, then I feel like it's um yeah, it's it's, it's a bit it's a bit much. But moving down to the McLaren 720, probably the most pointless nerf I've ever seen. Power nerf, very minor in brackets from 7,500 to the limiter on all tracks minus BGT B and D. So that is Donington and Snetterton. Snetterton is another track that nobody cares about, alright? I'm just I'm just keeping it very blunt, you know, I'm not trying to be, you know, disrespectful or nothing, but I have to keep it blunt. No one cares about Snetterton. No one really wants to race the track, okay? But um it is what it is. But the nerf from 7,500, and I believe I think the the, the shift point was at 7,550. So it's like a a nerf of like 50 RPM, which is nothing, which is that is not even worth putting into patch notes, to be honest. Because nine times out of ten, no one's even going to notice that, bro. Nobody. That's not changed the McLaren in the slightest. And it's only on two tracks. Um, okay, Donington definitely is a track that gets used. Snetterton doesn't really get used. So realistically, we're looking at one track where the McLaren's had the, the, the minute, minutest nerf. But why? <laughs> like, what's the point in that? I mean, there's so much other things that could have been done, you know? They could have maybe enhanced, maybe the Lambo a touch, maybe given the AMG a little something, maybe given the, the Bentley a little something, but it's just, you know, like, is, it, is this nerf done enough to change anything major? I hope what it does do is get a few more people out of the Honda and into some other cars, and maybe just maybe what what i'm hoping maybe the pack might convulge a little bit and all cars will be a lot closer um i i, I definitely think at the top of spectrum the 0.1 percent the fastest guys it'll probably make quite a big difference to, to those guys maybe it will you know, mix it up a little bit but i think in the 
you know, the public lobbies and stuff. Most people ain't even going to notice a change, I'll be honest. Um, but we shall see. And they've done the, the, the Chevrolet Camaro and the GT4s, which I just, I never drive. So, you know, it's, I, I don't know how fast that the Chevy was compared to everything else. Last time I, you know, did or watched any GT4s, it seemed like the Porsche was pretty quick, but it is what it is. Um, I'll leave that to all the people that actually drive GT4s. I don't even, I don't, I even forgot GT4s on the game, bro. I don't even, <laughs> I get on the game, I just, I'm straight GT3s, man. But um, yeah, let, let's see what the nerf looks like. Uh, let's see how well it does. We got AOL coming up, which I have signed up for, so we should see. You know, AOR doesn't run any custom BOP, so we should see exactly what it's like. See if a load of people still pick the Honda or whether the car choices are a little more spread out a little bit. We shan't see indeed. But what do you guys think, man? Leave your comments in the comment section below. And of course, guys, remember, if you guys are looking for background music for your videos, your intros, your streams, I will soon be releasing my website, which will be selling royalty free music for you guys to use in the background of your streams and videos so yeah cryptic tmg like and subscribe hit the notification bell to catch my videos first and peace